Hello, it's Kathleen Burns Kingsbury here with the KBK Wealth Connection blog. I am all dressed up today because I just got back from a national sales meeting of one of my contracts where we were talking about intergenerational wealth and intergenerational wealth transfer. And basically, if you're not in financial services, just know that that's a fancy name for talking to your family about money so you can pass on your estate and your wealth and your assets to the next generation. And that is a hot topic in financial services right now, reason being that a lot of times what happens is when money is passed from generation to generation, it is either lost because the a person who's receiving the wealth does not have the financial literacy or the knowledge to be able to manage and grow that wealth and continue that legacy, or it ends up being that the financial advisor that your mother and father worked with is not the person that you work with, so that money leaves the firm. So basically, that is what I was up to this morning, and the part that I wanted to share with all of you was the story I told about my dad, Bill. Bill, who's my father, is gonna be 80 years old this weekend. That's 8-0. And so what he said to my husband and myself is, how I wanna spend my 80th birthday is I wanna ski at Mad River Glen. And so for those of you not in New England that don't know Mad River Glen, it is basically a ski resort in Vermont, and it is, it's very difficult. It is, there is no grooming. There really is relatively little, if any, snowmaking, and you ski in the trees. So a lot of rocks, moguls, it's just a really good time if you like to ski hard. And the slogan sums it up. The slogan for Mad River Glen is, ski it if you can. And so that's where my dad and I and my husband will be spending his uh, 80th birthday. But the reason that I talked about Bill in this meeting and I'm sharing uh, information with you all today is that dad is the one who taught me about talking about money and managing money well before it was fashionable to teach young ladies to do so. And also well before the term intergenerational wealth was discussed or uh, a hot topic. And basically, what my dad did is he introduced the idea of estate planning, of talking about the will, of talking about the inheritance, much sooner than my sister and I would have liked. In fact, there were many holidays where dad would show up and say, girls, I have to talk to you about something. We would roll our eyes and go, not the will again, dad. But as I matured, and as I learned a lot more about financial conversations and intergenerational wealth, and as I've watched my parents age, I've realized what a wonderful gift that dad has given to me, my sister, and my mother to be able to have these conversations while he's still around, to be able to know what he would like as his family legacy other than us to continue to ski hard. And so I am just honored that the gift that dad gave to me and my family is a gift that I get to pass on to the advisors out there and to the advisors' clients both in the work that I do at Bentley University, as well as with different corporations through my company, KBK Wealth Connection. So as I was driving home after this presentation, I was thinking to myself, wouldn't it be great if the tagline for intergenerational wealth uh, and intergenerational wealth conversations was, talk about it if you can. So in honor of dad's 80th birthday and skiing at Mad River, I'm gonna challenge all of you out there to talk about it if you can and I'll let you know how the skiing goes next week.